Hi, this is Steve and it's time to plant our seeds. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to go about doing that. I've got three different types of material here on this paper plate. We've got uh, these peat pellets that uh, start out like this and you soak them in water and they swell up and you plant your seeds in here. This is potting soil and this is a soilless mixture that has been uh, sifted and it's very fine. It has no dirt in it whatsoever. It's sterile and it has a little bit of a charge to get your seedlings going. We don't want to use soil. These things are disastrous and this is really your only choice. It gives your seeds a good start uh, the roots penetrated easily and it holds moisture and it drains well. Well the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this uh, little plastic container which has a tray to keep the water from running out on things. We're going to fill this up with our uh, soilless mixture. You fill these almost all the way to the top here in a second I'll show you why we do that. You get it almost full, give it a little bit of shape, level it off. Now that we've got our container full of this soilless mix, we want to just very lightly take your thumb or your finger and just gently press the surface. You don't you don't want to smash it all the way down. It's not like packing brown sugar to make cookies. We're just topping this off so that we give our seeds a nice smooth flat surface to sit on. We're not packing this in. We're just firming up the top layer. Now one of the most important things we do is label what we're planting. I'm going to plant a tomato that I really did enjoy last year. It had a beautiful pink color and it was a uh, balanced flavor with a little bit of sweet, a little bit of acid, heavy grower, heavy producer. It was just fantastic. So I'm going to grow it again this year. And this one is called Raspberry Miracle. With the name of the tomato seeds we're about to plant. If you notice, I wrote in pencil, and that's because pencil doesn't seem to fade as uh, much as, say, a permanent marker. And, uh, or wash off even. Even the ones that say that are they're permanent, they tend to uh, fade over time. The pencil, I've noticed, will stay the entire season. So we're putting our seeds in. If I get 20 seeds in a package, I typically plant 15 of them and save five just in case something goes terribly wrong and I still have a, a little bit of a reserve to start some more. But I, I plant the 15 to ensure that I get good germination. Sometimes things can uh, be slow and so you want to have enough plants and you're going to save your seed for next year so go ahead and plant as many as you can because I found that uh, it's really really easy to give away a tomato plant. Once you have your seeds in place if you need to and if some of them are touching you can just take a pencil and, and move them just a bit, scoot them around once they're in place, what we want to do is just lightly sprinkle a little of this soilless mixture on top. And if you notice, I'm not putting very much on there at all. And then, I, just like we made a, a flat surface before we planted them, I want to tap this very lightly so that when I, I water them, it doesn't splash up. And there we go. We've got our first variety planted. And next we move on to our next cell. We make a tag. Before we, we start on this one, make sure you've put the seed for this one up and it's covered. That way we don't have to worry about anything jumping out of place or growing a plant that we're not sure what it is. So we do the same thing here. See, I put one on top of the other one, so I'm going to take my pencil and scoot it over. Now that we've got our seeds in place, we come back and sprinkle a little bit of the soilless mix on. 
gently tap it down. Close up our seed package for Burgundy Traveler and now let's move on to the next. There, we're all planted. Now it's time to get them wet. So I use a squirt bottle and uh, I saturate this and go over each one until the top is kind of floating. Once you water. get to the end, start over because you want to get them good and wet. You want to get them wet enough that you see water running out the bottom. Once we've got our plants thoroughly saturated, I just take one of these gallon sized Ziploc bags. And you can write the date along uh, the white strip on this kind of bag so that you know what day you planted it. And then I just put the whole thing inside the bag, zip it tight, and I basically have a little miniature greenhouse. Well, that's about all there is to planting seeds. It's really not that difficult, and uh, just about anybody with a little bit of patience can get it done. Now, the thing is, you need to sit back and wait and be patient because it does take a little bit of time for the seeds to germinate. Uh, typically, seeds start to germinate for me most of the time between about uh, six to ten days. Um, it's not unusual for them to go two weeks without germinating. Uh, you need to set them in a warm spot. Um, 70 degrees or warmer but don't let them get above 90 degrees because that will slow down the germination also so uh, now it's just wait it out until we have some tomato plants and uh, check back later we'll show you what to do with your small tomato plants and, and when they get big enough to transplant all right thanks for watching